Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this quick tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Hey, today we're going to tackle a little problem that a lot of folks have had with FS Recorder and uh, that is using FS Recorder on Windows 8.1 and uh, actually Windows 7 has had a few issues itself. This is going to help you hopefully get your FS Recorder installed properly on your FSX. Again, I am using Windows 8.1. First off, we're going to go to the fsrecorder.net website if you haven't already downloaded the files. And we're going to click on the downloads. And we're going to go with the current stable version. Click on the link and we're going to save that. And that's going to automatically be saved to our desktop because that's how we got things going here at Flight Sim Productions. And we're ready to rock. So we're going to close out of here. FS Recorder comes down as a zip file. So we're going to left double click on that. And we're going to go up here to extract all. And this is going to extract it to our desktop. And it's going to open up as soon as it's done extracting. So we're going to get that on there. And I'm going to go ahead and just close out of these because we don't need them up anymore. I'm going to left double click on the folder that we just extracted from FS Recorder and I'm going to go to the setup.msi file, left double click on it and here we have the FS Recorder 2.1 for FSX setup. We're going to click next and you have to agree to it. If you don't, you're not going to be able to install it. Now we're going to click next and by default it goes into our program files 86 and as some of you know Flight Sim Productions is not really too keen on the uh, program 86 area so what I'm going to do is install it on just uh, the C drive. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the browse button and we're going to click on we just want it to go into the C drive so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take that out make sure that you leave the switch in and then we're going to click OK and you can see here that now it's going to be in the C drive and it's not going to be in the programs 86 file we're going to go ahead and we're going to click next and we're going to click install and it doesn't take long for it to install when it's done, we can click finish and we can I'll just minimize this because we're going to have to get back in there as soon as we uh, check out the error that's about ready to happen. So I am starting Flight Simulator and once it gets to the uh, FS Recorder part, we should be getting an error. Now for some folks with Windows 8, I know that uh, you don't have a problem with it at all. Me, I'm one of the lucky ones. I get the big problem. This fix, by the way, is not uh, thought up by me. I actually saw it on the FS Recorder forum site. And uh, I will have the fellow's name in the description that tells you who, uh, who actually came up with the solution. Okay, we got a security warning here that says uh, the publisher could not be verified. And if you have ever done any add-ons, you're familiar with this this uh, window that pops up. It's standard. We can go ahead and we can click Run. And also, again, if you uh, have a lot of add-ons, you'll get this window too. And it says... Would you like to designate this module? And it gives you the name of the module as trusted software. And if you click yes, then you'll never get the error again. So we'll click yes. But wait, what happened? Microsoft Flight Simulator has not worked. So we'll close the program. You may also see this type of an error. I'm running an easy dock camera. And I also get this little message that pops up that says the FSX process not found fsx underscore handle colon space zero so we're going to click ok of that now if we run it again sometimes you'll get this error which is basically the same error only it looks different and uh, basically it says the same thing has a problem with the third-party program gives you the name of 
the FS recorder, the version, the company, where it's installed, and it says, do you want to run the software? And it says, not recommended. And if you click yes, you want to run it. Then, of course, it crashes your FSX. So we can just close right out of that. And again, I'm running Easy Doc, so I get that message. Now, the workaround for this is rather simple. It's actually rather smart the way the guy came up with it. So let's go into our C drive, and we're going to go into that folder that we just did, the FS Recorder for FSX. And you'll notice that there's a DLL file here called FS Recorder underscore fsx.dll we're going to actually let me get zoomed in on that we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click on it one time so that it highlights make a liar out of me and after the x you're just going to want to type in the number one and then you can hit enter and we're going to get a message that'll pop up ah it didn't pop up actually because i don't have it in the program files 86 Okay, so next we're going to go into App Data. And to do that, we're just going to left click up there and everything highlights. We're going to type in the percentage sign and we're going to type in App Data. A P P D A T A. And we're going to hit the percentage sign again and then enter. And you'll notice this comes up with uh, our roaming and our App Data information. We're going to go down to Microsoft and we're going to left double click on that. And we're going to go to FSX. We're going to double click on that. And the DLL.XML, we're going to open that. Now, if you have a program like Dreamweaver, you can do it in that. And if you don't have a pro program like Dreamweaver, you can actually use uh, Notepad. And we'll go ahead and we'll use Notepad for this video because a lot of people don't have Dreamweaver. Okay, and once this opens, you'll notice that all of your add-ons are listed in here. So we're going to scroll down to where we have our FS recorder, which may be easier said than done. There we go. And because I do websites, I like to keep my code looking good. So I, you don't have to do this. This is just me. This is one of my things, you know. So you, like I said, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kind of tidy this up a little bit and do that and we're gonna do that okay now this FS recorder underscore FSX dot DLL that's the exact same thing we just changed in our FS recorder folder so we're gonna go ahead and click next to the X we're gonna type in the number one and we're gonna either control S or file save same thing either way and once that's done we can close out of that we can close out of the FSX uh, folder and let's let's try starting up our FSX now and see what happens okay we get the same uh, message that we got before it says the publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure you want to run the software? And if you've ever done add-ons, you get the same thing every time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click run. And then it says up here, would you like to designate this module as trusted? Yes. If you say no, then every time you start up Flight Simulator, it's going to ask you if you want to trust it and if you want to run it and load it and all that stuff. So we can trust this. So we'll click yes, and Flight Simulator has popped up. I got it running at 8.17 at night, but uh, let's go ahead and make that daytime, and we'll see if we have our FS recorder in FSX. All right, looks like we're all set. Do a quick little test. And we'll click OK and we can see that it's recording down here. And that looks good. 
And then we'll go ahead and we'll stop it. And we'll save it into our FS recorder files. And we'll just call it test. Okay, now let's go back and we'll play that. And we can see the playback's working perfect, so we're good to go. That's it. That's another quick tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Until next time, keep your head up in the clouds.